Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2! Uh, we're gonna get right into the thick of it here. Can we send these troops home then? All retinue troops. Oh right, this, this is my retinue, okay. Even though it's the army of Prince Dietrich? I don't understand. No, this is my retinue. Is it not? Why don't you guys march there? We'll get everybody consolidated, if that is all my retinue. I think maybe it is. Um, right, okay, let's just unpause it and get straight back to the action here. We know what happened last time. Duke Martin favors Duke Magnus. What does that do for us? Nope, everybody supports my heir currently. Not everybody, but everybody that counts. My liege, it is most unfortunate that you happen to hold a title that all agree should rightfully be mine in order to lift this dark cloud from our relations. May I suggest an adjustment? Count of saint -Ois. He wants the county of Bar. Why should he have the county of Bar? I understand Bar, saint and Lorraine are all a duchy, but... Just because he has sent water doesn't mean... No. You're my nephew. You serve at my pleasure. Sorry, bub. Deal with that. Uh, Duke Emmerich favors Prince Dietrich. Army of Prince Dietrich. Maybe that's Army of Prince Dietrich, my son. Is that Army of Prince Dietrich, my son? I can't tell. My nephew. Yeah. I was going to say. Oh well. Retinue's building back up there. That's fine. Let him be the leader of my retinue, I suppose. Okay. Right. Well, now it's like, what do we do next? Hmm. Well, we can imprison somebody. Count Stein of Lune. Leader of a plot. Will you end the plot? No, you will not. Well, then you're definitely getting imprisoned. 46% chance of success. Let's see what happens here. My guards failed to capture Count Stein, who has now raised his flag in rebellion. Uh-oh. Hmm. Where is this dude? Oh, right here, huh? Please. You are but a gnat compared to my power. Where's the rest? <laughs> Unless that is the rest. There should be more than that, shouldn't there? Let's get somebody who's not me and who's actually better at this, leading this flank. And also let's rebalance. Shall we? Um, hmm. Why don't you march there? Oh, right. You can't get out of there before he attacks, can you? April 7th, March 25th. Oh, good. Actually, no, go here first. March 29th. March to Luxembourg, let's... Oh, no, March to... <sighs> Bar. <laughs> there. We'll march everybody there, we'll combine... Um... That's something, anyway. Right. We'll have everybody meet up in bar. He's soging, surge, soging. He's sieging Brabant. Actually, just go to Verdun. We'll have you go to Verdun. Oh, 
Okay. Combine, rebalance. Hmm. Send all the retinue over there. Okay, it's better than nothing. Now, march on Brabant and destroy him. My liege, since I arrived in Lorraine, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. Prince Heinrich the Mad. Hmm. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. Well done, Prince Diedrich. Prince Heinrich, rather. Sorry. It has been brought to your attention that the large garden outside your castle is, frankly, a mess. Last week, one of your courtiers got lost in that wilderness, and the man did not emerge for two days. Wow. Tackling this garden problem head-on could be an excellent project with which to improve your stewardship. Well, it's good because I'm actually a gardener. So of course I would say, yes, let's do this. Nice. The Kaiser, who is also... Go oh, boy, the battle is joined. Oh, my, f my flanks are not doing so hot. Hmm. This is not good. On account of him having some really strong flanks, I'm going to lose this battle. No! <laughs> oh no, I'm the attackers. He's the... Oh, right. Okay. Uh -huh. Ooh. That was... <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, my guys suck. But no. Right. Victory in the Battle of Arshot. 47% change in war score there. That's nice. We lost about 500 men. He lost... Uh, boy... Three quarters of his army. A little more than that. Alright, and he's marching back to Lohan. Where is he going to? Lohan. And we shall follow. Pursue and destroy. Yeah. Kill them all. Victory in the Battle of Maastricht. Army's been completely whoa. Army's been completely devastated. Uh, and we're now sieging Luan, which will take a little while, but that's okay. Together with your gardeners, you have redesigned your castle garden into a more manageable form. You have organized the digging of a small canal system to keep your plants watered. The weeds have been removed, and the hedge maze now actually has an exit. <laughs> the skeletal remains strewn about the maze's dead ends have also been cleared out. Oh, God. Hard but rewarding work. I have learned much. Gain two to stewardship. Nice. Kaiser Dietrich of the Holy Roman Empire fulfilled the ambition to improve stewardship. Nice. Very cool. Alright, our last only remaining ambition, then, is to improve our learning. Which will take a while, because we have a learning of one. Right. Well, anyway. <clears throat> let's see. We're at 67. Oof, man. We've been around for a while. Fulfilled that ambition. We have the important decision of reforging our Damascus steel, but I believe that will cost 300 gold. So we can't do that yet, because we only have 290. And even when we have 300, we won't want to do it just then. We will, however, I think, want to hold a summer fair. Here in, uh oh. Mayor Everard of Commercy, my steward, has died. Although Peter Chatenois, my kinsman, has a very good stewardship score. Very nice. And Peter, why don't you collect taxes in Lorraine? Uh, what else do we have people doing? Scheming in Lorraine, bar to improve relations, training troops in Lorraine, and in Savoy to improve diplomatic relations. That's all fine. Nice. 
So what does that make our state stewardship then? 37. Not bad. Compared to, you know, considering how much it sucks. Our personal stewardship, I mean. Right. Uh, yes, so we're not going to do the Damascus Steel right now because it's too expensive for what we want to do. Um, we can, however, hold a summer fair as of... M oh, it's yeah, it's already August now. We can't do that. Okay. Uh, okay. Hang on, everyone. Hang on. Good grief. This is too much stuff here. We want to instead hold a feast, I guess? Which we can do in November. We're going to Grand Hunt. Which we can do in September. We'll do that in September then. You have come into possession of the Confessions of St. Augustine, a series of tomes detailing the life and times of Augustine of Hippo, a Christian theologian from Roman Africa who lived many centuries ago. Studying this historical work could provide insert insights that improve your learning. Well... I'm zealous. I'd probably read a religious book. And I don't see anything that would tell me I wouldn't. Yes. I will read it. And I will go back to intrigue because I'm going to go on a grand hunt in about 15 days. At age 70, Duke Primislaw II of Poland, my son-in-law, died a maimed cripple. So now Emma, my daughter, is unwed. Oh, right, he was one of my allies who actually ended up doing nothing for me. Okay. Let's see if we can find anybody powerful nearby. Preferably German, but I don't think we're going to get that. Go to low count of at Altmark. Oh, she has a kid. Aw, my grandson. Kurzuslaw. <laughs> well, let's see. He's German. That's fine. He'll get us an ally, but he's a count. It's not going to really help us that much. But sure, here you go. Whoops. Wait, what? Damn it. Will you marry my daughter, Emma? She's going to lose a lot of prestige. Emma and I would gain two. Lose 200 for... Oh, okay, never mind. I don't want to do that. That's the loss of a lot. Um, take me back to my daughter. Take me back to my daughter. Emma? You must marry a more powerful person than that. Don't have any kings or anything? Nope, looks not. Counts and earls and dukes. Okay. How about the Duke of... Uh, the Duke of... The Duke of... Akia? Greek? Sure, we lose 100. Okay, fine. We'll have an ally, though, in the Duke Duke Gregorius II of Ikea. Fine. It's better than nothing, I guess. Duke Premislaw died a main cripple. Right. Okay. Meanwhile... Oh, come on, we want to go on a grand hunt. At last, you have finished your studies of St. Augustine's Confessions. It took many nights of reading with, the on with only the light of a candle to keep you company. But you do not regret a second of it. Your learning has improved. This work contained many truths. I've gained two learning, meaning I need only five more to achieve my, my, my ambition. My ambition. Oh, Prince Moimir has a rather powerful faction, does he? Hmm. The glorious Kaiser Dietrich, peace be with you. I accept your suggestion that Princess Emma and Duke Gregorios II get married. Fine. Sorry, daughter. See you around. Trade practices has increased. Uh, my co-conspirator, Duke... Oh. Adolf of Holland has let me know that Prince Moimir of the Holy Roman Empire will die by poisoned wine 
and an upcoming banquet. Classic. Is it classic? I don't know. Is that something a lot of people do? Very good. That'd be nice. Oh, let's hope it works out. 101 per Look at that. Everybody's on my side. Well, not everybody. There are a lot of people on my side, though. Okay, it's September. Let's go on a grand hunt. Oh, we're not at peace. Oh, rats. Eh. Okay, fine. Stupid siege. Alright, let's up the speed then a little bit. Hmm. I could be hunting right now, but I'm fighting off this stupid count. Success! Prince Moimir of the Holy Roman Empire died of the poison wine. Unfortunately, my complicity was discovered. Uh-oh. Huh? I could imprison Duke Adolf of Holland. Since Duke Adolf has acted dishonorably toward me, no one will care. Did he reveal that I was involved? No, no, no. He loves me. He wouldn't do that, would he? Known murderer. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. So the plot succeeded then? Is Moimir dead? People are still voting for him. Duke Albert of Bohemia has inherited Duchy of Bohemia and other titles from Prince Moimir of the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, look at that. Age 37, Prince Moimir of the Holy Roman Empire was murdered on the orders of Kaiser Dietrich of the Holy Roman Empire. Uh-oh. People aren't going to like me very much after that. Okay, well, I succeeded. Yep, check it out. He's not there anymore. I don't think I'd prison in, uh, I, did, I don't think I'd imprison Adolf because he is the one who um, pulled this thing off. Well, not, it says he acted dishonorably, so maybe he exposed me, but I don't think he would have done that on purpose. I think it was just an accident that people found out that I was involved. Um, so no, I won't try to imprison him. Get rid of it, in fact. Um, though I don't care for him. <laughs> I don't care for him because he's a known murderer. That's funny. I am also a known murderer, though. Hmm. Oh, well. Anyway. We'll see how that affects us. Looks like some people are... Um, oh, the... Duke of Swabia has died. Duke Friedrich the Old died. He was my spitting image. My doppelganger. He's dead now. His son, presumably his son, Duke Simon, who's as old as hell anyway, has inherited. He actually likes me quite a bit. That's nice. So we'll see if this Gets people to stop voting for my son. Boleslav favors Prince Dietrich. That's good. Mark Fart now favors Duke Boleslav. So a few people who voted for Moimir are now voting for my son, it looks like. Okay. I could raise more troops and make this thing go faster, couldn't I? Maybe I should do that. Albert favors Boleslav. Simon favors my son. Interesting. Alright, well, let's raise some more soldiers. I, for, I guess I could make this go faster, couldn't I? <laughs> okay, I don't need all of these guys. Let's just take, say, this many. March them there. Um, and you guys. 
can all stand down. And so can you guys. And so can you guys. And I'll say that's probably good, right? What are y'all standing around doing nothing? No, it doesn't look like it. Must be a big old army marching in here. My liege, my mission to Savoy has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Duke Amade IV of Savoy, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, and he sends his regards. Duke Amade, my vassal, likes me, will like me more. Very good. Let's see who else doesn't like me very much. Well, of course, Godfried, the Count of Breda. Rudolf, the Count of Ulick. I don't really care about Counts, though. I'm worried about Dukes. Duke of Savoy, Count. Duke Emmerich of Lower Lorraine. I should try to get him to like me more. Where are you, Lower Lorraine? You're right here. It's Tyrrell. Lower Lorraine. Emmerich. Okay. Then, uh, Markward, why don't you go to Schwyz and improve relations there now? Well done, by the way, with uh, Savoy. Excellent. Capital job, my fellow. So this should be going considerably faster. Uh, okay, it's getting there. It's going to take all these soldiers a little while to get there, but that's okay. Okay. Come on, men. Come on. The year is up. Stuart Peter has had some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. Hmm. Well, kind. I'm a gardener. That doesn't do anything for me. Uh, huh. Given that... Oh, no, my ambition is to improve my learning. I was going to say, given that my... Wait, what happened to my ambition? Oh, there it is. Improve learning. It's the plot that's gone now. Uh, given that... Given that... Um, I don't... Uh, Actually, I was gonna say if if it was if my ambition was to improve my stewardship, of course I'd adopt them in a heartbeat, improving the economy. Um, but I'm improving my learning. I think I'd probably go with it anyway. There's nothing here that would make like I'm not stubborn. I'm not um, egotistical really. So I think I'd adopt it. Twenty-five gold, but anything to improve the economy of the empire. Heinrich now favors Duke Simon. Hmm. Okay. Right. So now, oh, let's combine everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's helped it out by about uh, one and a half percent. Should be over in no time. Ah. Holy Roman Empire, it's all mine. Okay. Oh, wow, England is carving right through the center of France there. I wonder if I shouldn't then consider pressing my claim on Bologna? I think I have a claim on Bologna. Hang on. Franconia. Okay. What till the second of Franconia died of severe stress. So I can claim it. Right. Be denied. Why? Because he has a very, very high opinion of Count Guijda. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. 
Uh, oh. Oh, I saw offer vassalization. It's like, ooh, can I just offer the count vassalization directly? But this is actually to offer the pope vassalization. <laughs> Which, of course, he would say no. I am a king, you bastard. Which is fair enough. Uh, hmm. Duchy of Luxembourg. So wait, what is Artois then? Duchy of Flanders. So then why don't I have... Why can't I just... I should have a claim on Bologna by default, shouldn't I? I am the Duke of Flanders. No. Ulrich von Weimar is. Can I press his claim? Where is it? Surely there's a way to do it. Where is Ulrich? No, not Luxembourg. I want Duke of Flanders. No, 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 no. This. De jour. Duchy of Flanders. Ulrich. Claim on the county of Istria, claim on the county of Crane. Why doesn't he have a claim on Bologna? He's the Duke of Flanders, goddammit. Maybe because he doesn't control any other counties? Hmm. Well, anyway, the siege is almost over. Okay, we got another vote for my son, that's good. Victory in the Siege of Lyon. So, the siege continues now against Maastricht. 92% war score, so we're not far away. After this siege, I think it should be taken care of. Perhaps. Yes. Yes. Come on, men. What kind of claims do I have, actually, now that I think about it? Sorry, I was taking a big drink of water there. Claim on the Kingdom of Norway. County of Nordgau. Oh, right. Victory in the Siege of Maastricht. And I can now end this war, I think. Will you so end there? He is totally beaten. The revolt against the rule of Kaiser Dietrich of the Holy Roman Empire has ended. Kaiser Dietrich of the Holy Roman Empire won. Excellent. I don't know why you decided to pick that fight, Count Stein, but you lost. Uh, okay, so he's been imprisoned. His wife is in hiding. <laughs> Poor woman. I suppose I could just try to, you know, like, hey, ransom? You pay 70 gold? Yeah, I mean, I don't really have a problem with you other than that you refused to end a plot. So, here, you can ransom yourself. My liege, I've tried to make Baron Adam of Altdorf real. What? I don't want you to talk to Baron Adam of Altdorf. I want you to talk to the Count of the Duke of Lower Lorraine. Ah, you. Sinister forces. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, fine. Ooh, oh no, Baron Adam's opinion of me goes down by 20. My leash. <laughs> okay, so you pissed off the Baron, but the Duke loves me. My mission to Schwyz has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Duke Emmerich of Lower Lorraine, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, and he sends his regards. Well done. Uh, Markward. I didn't uh, appreciate the first message, but this one makes up for it in spades. Okay, anyway, I can stand this army down, can't I? <laughs> uh, okay, good. Uh, my liege, your low character is the subject of Greek plays. I accept paying your ransom for my own safe return. 
Tan Stein. I bet. Hates me now, don't you? Negative 32. Oh no, he actually has an opinion of me of 24. I hate him, though. Fine. Think twice next time, Stein. Before you go. Refusing to end. Um, plots. Well, this is good news. Two Twice in the same month, or same two months. He has successfully, has Marquard, improved my imp uh, relationship with Duke Emmerich. So let's try to find another vassal we could perhaps use him on. Another duke, of course. How about the Duke of Luxembourg, Prince Heinrich, my nephew? Where is the man? Where are you? But seriously, where where are you? <laughs> Chief Susa Saluzzo or Monferrato. There you are. You're in Monferrato. Okay. okay. Uh, Marquard, why don't you, since you're doing such a great job in Schwiz, go to Monferrato. Monferrato. Try to improve relations there with my nephew, the prince. I presume he's called a prince because one of my brothers must have been a duke. His father must have been a duke. Why is he a prince? Anyway. Hang on a second. Oh, his father was... That's right. I looked this up before and I forgot. His father was the former Kaiser, Kaiser Leopold, and his mother is my sister, Roshenza. I forgot about that. 17-year-old wife? My god, man. Did I have you marry her? I don't think I had that power to get you married. You're not my relative. I remember marrying somebody off to an Amelberga, though. Maybe thinking about it, I don't know. Patience is a virtue, but sometimes it gets on my nerves. My son Heinrich, my ward, never loses his temper, always waiting patiently for a chance to retaliate. Well, let's see. I am brave, zealous, lustful, kind, proud. Well, I'd say between proud and zealous, I'm probably not a very patient per person. So I would not say I can not abide recklessness. I think I'd say I'd bring up the fire in him. Not because I'm wroth myself. But like I said, I'm zealous and I'm lustful. There's some real passion in there. And I'm proud. I'd be like, come on, man. Don't be such a wallflower. Yes, bring out the fire in him. Although I am zealous, I could thank the Blessed Virgin for Heinrichs. Ah, uh, uh, no, bring out the fire. Son, let me stand next to your fire. <laughs> that was lame. And he has... Nothing. Nothing has happened. Okay. He no longer has the trait patient, he no longer has the trait wrath. Right, now, can I actually do anything? Well, I could reforge domestic, Damascus Steel. Ooh, I can hold a grand tournament. Ooh, that's what I'm going to do. I was going to do some kind of event. I can't do any events right now because it's not the correct time of year, I don't think go on a pilgrimage. I could hold a feast. But I think it's time for a grand tournament. That's expensive. Expensive as hell. But I think I'm going to do it. Philip is no longer court chaplain. Philip, my courtier, has died, apparently. That's alright. I will make... Oh, God, you're really old. Um, so are you. But your learning score is through the roof. Okay. Fine. You are my chaplain until, uh, I don't know when. Until you croak, I suppose. What bishop hates me the most? Um, or rather, not what bishop hates me the most, which bishop do I have the best odds of turning around my relationship with? I would say probably Bishop Arnulf of Mechtelen. Where are you? 
You're in Brabant. Okay. Bishop Clauvoit. <laughs> Go to Brabant. Try to improve relations there. At age 43, Philip, my court chaplain, died after a period of illness. Godspeed you, Philip. You died too young, my man. Okay, anyway. Right, holding a grand tournament. Let's do it. It's going to cost a lot of money. Grand tournament. I have sent forth messengers around the realm, which of course is the Holy Roman Empire, to spread the word that a grand tournament be held. The tournament begins soon. Voice threats are rather small. Rudolf Count of Ulick, 38%. Wow. As a count, that's pretty impressive. Grand Mayor Carl, who I've had in prison, is still a threat. Of course, released him, because I'm an, a sucker. These guys are going to rot in jail. I'm never letting them out, the punks. Ton of known plots. Uh, let's try to end the plots, shall we? There's too many. I like to kind of keep... Um just let them go manually and like attack them like uh, not attack them but deal with them as I see that they're targeting somebody that I don't want them to target and let the ones that I don't really care about go but there's just so many now that I probably just need to start ending them